The part of spiritual awakening is learning that the world is an illusion. To be in the world, but not of it. A path to higher consciousness, frequencies, vibrations, is in renouncing the illusory world. As you ascend, the world becomes more unreal. You notice that the news on TV is fabricated, and that real news comes from the experiences of people you know and trust. You see how movies and video games are counterfeits of real experience. We have created a society that has mostly substituted real adventure for adventure on screen. It's fun, but not as much fun as reality. Real adventure requires courage and stamina. Watching porn can't create real intimacy. Real intimacy requires vulnerability, attentiveness, and respect, and many other things that remain undeveloped in porn. For the same reason, I'm not fond of porn, I don't like using navigation apps all the time. I'd like to develop my sense of orientation instead. And I much prefer playing tennis to watching tennis, doing seminars live to doing them on Zoom, etc. I want real. Am I condemning or judging people who spend most of their time in a fake reality? No. But I am saying that, if you wish to ascend on the scale of consciousness, go more for the real than the copy. As awareness deepens, you accept that every external object is non-genuine, unsubstantial, playing no part in increasing your energy or ability. You see that brand names provide fake status or merit. Real merit is achieved through your work or contribution. Celebrities are fake idols of admiration. Our schooling system teaches much fake knowledge. Fake knowledge is to teach children that our ancestors were primitive and stupid and evolved over time. Real knowledge is to know that we were more advanced than today, several times in our history. A pharma company gives you fake medicine. Real medicine heals you. The beauty industry doesn't provide beauty, it provides the illusion of beauty. Real beauty comes from your inner state. But many are convinced beauty can be bought with products. In reality, a deeply relaxed person quickly becomes more attractive. Makeup is supposed to enhance already existing beauty, not be a substitute for it. Pharma products are supposed to enhance already existing health, not substituted. Schooling is meant to supplement experiential learning, not replace it. Alcohol provides fake confidence, so that you don't have to go through the discomfort of vulnerability. I sucked for 20 years, so that I would never have to face moments of boredom and social awkwardness. Smoking helped me avoid any sort of emotional growth. Once I quit smoking, I had to deal with being Ness itself. You see, every time an opportunity arose to just be, I lit a spread instead. Great way to avoid existence. Credit cards provide fake purchases. Real purchases are paid with money you actually have. Seen on a poster. Beauty is a $532 billion industry that won't make you pretty. Education is a $1350 billion industry that won't make you smart. Diet is a $72 billion industry that won't make you lean. Pharma is a $1,500 industry that won't make you healthy. I love that poster, it exposed the fraudulent nature of the world in one simple image. How deep does the fakeness go? In my view, everything on earth is, to some extent, tainted. And the sooner you are disillusioned, the better. And what is real? Spirit is real. Your fellow human beings are real. Your body, mind and soul are real. Your kindness is very real your power is real. And the whole point of the charade of fakeness is to make you forget your power. It's a game, a training, an amazing experience. This has been the way on earth for as long as this game board exists. Once you master the game, you exit the game. So, it's good that everything is more or less fake. Otherwise, the game of life couldn't be played. The goal of the game is to awaken to what's real. One of the requirements for ascending is discerning truth versus falsehood. Every time I post something dedicated to disillusionment, I receive a few unsubscribes with people complaining that I am focusing on the negative. I can tell these people rarely watch my videos. They think I teach this new age positive thinking nonsense, which isn't positive at all. There is nothing positive life affirming or success oriented about denial. As I say earlier, life is meant to be a balance of negative and positive. When we welcome the negative without resistance, in appreciation of its purpose, it's much easier to pivot to the positive. Then the positive becomes genuine and profound, not like the shallow and indeed fake positive thinking so popular these days. Disillusionment may seem scary and negative, but it is very positive. 
You quit wasting your time with or investing hard in things unreal, such as brand names, politics and alcohol, and get on with the process of spiritual and physical refinement. Strolling through a supermarket the other day. There were several rows of chocolate bars, strawberry bars, vanilla bars, caramel bars, that had words like keto diet, weight loss and protein on them. To know that all these sweets have absolutely nothing to do with any keto or weight loss, all you have to do is look at the body shape of the average customer who buys them. If you want the real thing around weight loss, observe what slim people are eating. That's all that's required. I don't know many slim people who use these weight loss chocolate bars or weight loss gummies that stick to one's digestion tract for hours. Simple discernment would tell you that not eating gummies is more conducive to weight loss than eating weight loss gummies. I wonder how much of what people believe these days was dreamed up by a marketer or PR agent. Almost everything is fake, and that's good. It helps you awaken to what's real. Shakespeare said, all the world is a stage, and everyone plays their part. So enjoy the show, but don't become so identified with it that you suffer. The mass psychosis was already there in the 1980s, the 1500s or 2000 BC. In the 1980s we went into a mass psychosis in which pharmacies sprung up on every corner and hundreds of millions of people went on one medication or another. Also in the 1980s, they started eating foods that won't digest, causing mass obesity. The mass epidemic of obesity caused very little change in the industry or people's habits. Not changing self-harming habits is psychotic. If you can accept that Earth currently isn't all that advanced, you can enjoy yourself here. You can be abundant you can be high consciousness. But if you demand that the world is too, you set yourself up for failure. Don't try to control others' choices, take charge of your own. They don't really care about us. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. Knowledge dissemination relies on you. Share this article far and wide. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.